New maps added to the MCC for Halo 2 Anniversary. Today we're going to go through these maps, show you what they look like, how a general feel, and also how they're going to be played. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news update when it comes to Halo this day. Today we're talking about the three new maps that are coming to the uh, Halo 2 anniversary here. So you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on the, these maps as well. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay updated with anything Halo related. That's MCC, Halo 5, Halo Infinite, everything in between. And make sure to tap that subscribe button with the with the bell to keep you up to date whenever you do anything on the channel. Because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So uh, without anything else to say, let's get right into the video here. So a little bit of a history behind these maps. I actually made a video about these exact maps coming to the MCC, which they were originally going to be because they were part of a competition on Forge Hub about making probably the best maps you could possibly come up with. Well, 343 took note of that. They really liked the maps and like, well, we're going to do some little tweaking here to see if we can uh, make these maps available for matchmaking. This is way back in August of 20. Uh, 18 August 27th when I uploaded the video about talking about this and it actually did pretty well So I appreciate the support on that and so I was like, okay, we're gonna get some new maps. It's gonna be great and then Almost an entire year goes by until they decide to go. Well, let's just add three of those maps into the matchmaking Of course, I'm sure making sure the MCC works it takes priority bringing it to the PC and also bringing reach over the MCC probably takes a little more priority to add in some maps to Halo 2 Anniversary, which Halo 2 Anniversary has desperately needed new maps because obviously the selection that they have for it is rather limited. I believe it was about like six-ish maps that they created for Halo 2 Anniversary. And so there's a lot to be needed if you're a Halo 2 Anniversary player. Yeah, the game probably got really stale for you. Well, now we're going to add some more maps in to kind of showcase these maps for you guys to kind of understand what you're going to see when you're joining into these matches. So let's get into some of the details about them. So there's a first place, second place, and third place on this map. So we'll start. Third place was Epic, which was created by Krunk and Xanderth. I, if I pronounced that gamer tag correctly. Second place here was Heatstroke, created by Cobbled together if I bring up pronouncing that name correctly and the first place is the map called select by secret schnitzel and run knockyard run who is a very uh, well-known forger in the halo community here so now you're probably wondering well what kind of game modes are we gonna see on these maps well for epic we're gonna see team slayer multi-flag ctf neutral bomb assault crazy king oddball swat snipers and fiesta for heat stroke we're going to see team slayer and multi-flag i think that would work out pretty well i would like to see maybe neutral bomb i think would work out rather interesting on that map as well uh, but you know we'll see how it turns out and of course then we have select which is going to get uh, team slayer multi-flag ctf ricochet Crazy King, Oddball, SWAT, Snipers, and Fiesta. So now you're probably wondering, gee, gobbly, gee, giblets, Kevin. I want to play these maps in custom games, but how do I do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you as well. So first of all, you hit X, and then what you do is you go down to your player name, hit A, go down to find player, hit A on that, and then what you do here is you type in the name of the player that you're, who, down, who created the map. So in this case, we're going to download Epic, and that was Xandrith who downloaded it. So I typed out the player's name right there. I hit search, up comes the player. So then what I do is go to file share, hit A on that, go over to map variants, click A on that, and then you scroll down to right there where it says epic, and that's how you download the map. So you can copy and paste this procedure for any other map that you want to download in the MCC. So yes, right now there is no file browser right now at the moment, and the 343 favorites gamer tag that they used to use for these kind of things is now not working right now. So this is the best way to do it. You have to go. F so again, the recap: you gotta know the player's name, go to that procedure I just showed you how to do it and download the, from their file share. And that's how you go about doing the whole thing. So now the first map we're gonna look at here is a map that's been internally referred to as Baby Gulch. And as you can probably see why, because it's in a big field with a box canyon around the outside of it, and it's a rather large map. I'm feeling this map kind of was intended for big team battle, but maybe 
uh, it just wasn't quite big enough or maybe the sizes of what was allowed in Forge didn't allow it to be a full size big team battle map. The reason why I mention it is because each base has one ghost and a warthog and there are two overshields on both sides of the map as well. Do I do think this map will play out rather well because you can tell by just the design of the map that there is divisions within the map of where battles are supposed to happen. You can definitely tell on the outside of the map is where you'll see probably a lot of vehicle play for sure. You even have a wine kind of path through the middle as well that will kind of get you from one base to the other so if you want to use a vehicle it'll be a really quick way to get around in the center of the map it's, or generally in that area is where you'll find a lot of good battles between players uh, just because I think it's very narrow so vehicles can't really get through them too well and it's not really that effective and so I think that would be fine so it'd be great so then hopefully the vehicles will not be so overpowered as they tend to be in just 4v4 game modes. I feel like this map would play out best for capture the flag because it's a little too big for Team Slayer and it might play a little too slow and especially with the vehicles it would really kind of you know mess up the flow of the game and really the balance but if you put it as CTF for the most part I think it would actually play out rather well as it get people more moving and more kills and deaths don't matter as much when it comes to Slayer. Either way I'm very excited to get a chance to put my hands in the controller get my character moving inside this map playing on some CTF or some Slayer slaying the nubs all together and having a good time. Next on the showcase for maps can be added into MCC matchmaking is a map that is referred to as not so narrows. This map called Select that's been created by Run Knock Yard Run was built with CTF, Slayer, and Ricochet in mind. As you can see, this map was clearly inspired by the classic Halo 3 map, Narrows, as it features a very similar bridge that goes across the map and that goes right up the middle, and also it has two bases on either side. This map I can see playing very similar to Narrows as well, but with it being a little bit more accessible in movements and not so choke pointy as Narrows can be, which it could be either a good or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for in your gameplay. Now, the map does feature man cannons just like in Narrows, but it actually fe features these cannons in the bottom middle of the map to kind of take you over the water that's in the bottom of the map, which obviously does kill you. As you can tell by this fly through that this map almost is just like a reimagining of Narrows, but in the MCC and how the player probably would like to see Narrows play as. And I do think these are actually some really good additions that have been made to the Narrows-like map because of all the accessibility that's been added to this map with the different lanes added to the middle part, especially the certain boxes that can lead you to jump up back up to the middle area as well, and some back paths that kind of get you from point A to B, and also some areas where you can get from kind of sneak to the other side using the bottom mid man cannons. This map is definitely smaller than Narrows as well, so I expect a much higher pace gameplay. So definitely you would want to stay on the outside of this map because it just seems like there's so many ways to get into the center of the map that it'd just be a bit much for a player to deal with. So I would personally probably just stick to the outsides, but though you do have a nice elevation change for the bridge in the middle to where if you are in the middle of the map, you're not getting shot from every possible angle. There are also some very cheeky jump spots as well. I already found out just running through this map. I could definitely say if you grab a sniper rifle, you can put some damage in, that's for sure. I expect this will probably work out best for CTF and Slayer. Maybe Ricochet would probably work out all right as well, but I think uh, CTF definitely, and also of course Slayer, because Slayer is amazing game mode, obviously. Select also features your standard weaponry of snap rifles, carbines, battling rifles. I believe there's also a brute plasma rifle on the map as well, and some SMGs, so very standard kind of weaponry you can find. No surprises here. But yeah, that's the map Select. Pretty much copy and paste your playstyle from Narrows, and you'll probably do just fine. Okay guys, now we're on the map Epic here. We jumped in the Forge, and I'm going to show you guys just a bit of an overview when it comes to this map. As you can see, it's a bit of a symmetrical map. Right here, we have like, the red side, the yellow side, the blue side, and a green side as well. A lot of little tiers, and so let's kind of hop, just kind of do a quick little overview to show you guys what is on this map, like power weapon wise, uh, weapon spawn wise, um, player spawn wise, and just everything kind of great, quick understanding. Uh, this middle of the map looks pretty crazy, like the pretty good height elevation differences for it being a classic Halo for sure. Uh, you see, we have the camo down here. And then uh, obviously we can move up to the top. As you can see, we can find something else. Uh, we looks like we have a silence SMG right here. It's kind of a nice little uh, variation of uh, different kind of things you can find around here. 
Another battle rifle down there. I do know the sniper rifle spawns right here on the top of green. Now I don't know how useful a sniper rifle would be on this map in particular since uh, most of the lines of sight are pretty small. I mean like uh, obviously like if you're kind of like looking over here you probably get a good shot but if everyone spawns with a battle rifle and ha for Halo 2 it, be it being hit scan, I can imagine the sniper rifle not being that useful on this map but you know I guess we'll figure it out once the game starts getting played right. Uh, definitely will definitely jump, try to jump in and try to get some games for you guys on this so you can see well, how the games play as well. But I'm just kind of doing a quick overview. Like here we have the uh, list. I kind of take it back up the top green. I do like the coloring on this map as well. No matter what portion of the map you are in, you can see some color somewhere to kind of help identify where you are. So you see like the bottom right here, obviously it's this colored green, then you know that if you go up these lifts, this is where you're going to be. Excellent job of the forging to kind of help keep players uh, give a sense of understanding where they are on the map. So I don't really see like a rocket launcher or anything like that that anything really honestly too crazy obviously i downloaded this off a of file share of the guy who created the map i think the last time this map was edited back in like 2015 or something so maybe some of the weapons spawns might have changed uh, but there's a plasma pistol right there bottom mid and so things could have maybe changed since uh, this game since this map has gone into matchmaking uh, obviously i'm not able to go into custom games and play i have to go download it myself uh, it's not, it doesn't work like how it does in Halo 5 when it comes to playing these maps, but this is the map Epic, and so far it looks pretty good. Lots of little lines of sight here and there. I don't know where this gigantic wall just came from from here, but anyway, so we can go through that <laughs> and show you guys this kind of the other half and just get a nice little overview. Like I said, like it looks pretty uh, standard on the weaponry here, nothing too crazy. And uh, it just looks to be a nice little competitive map to jump in and play, and play some fast-paced 4v4s. So yeah guys, those maps look pretty exciting, I can't wait to get my hands on them and get a chance to play on those as well. As we do know, the Halo 2 Anniversary playlist is a bit low when it comes to map selection, so I'm sure we get a chance to play these quite often. So guys, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure to tap that like button so you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and these new maps as well. And if you're new to the channel, stay updated with anything going on with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe to the channel here guys, because we do talk about anything as soon as it happens. And if you're new to the channel, or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.